Okay, now we are in the last part of this single slit diffraction. Okay, uh, now I want to talk about the width of central maximum. Uh, the central maximum for single slit diffraction is very special. Um, the reason is because it has the highest intensity compared to other fringes. Uh, because we know that uh, for the central maximum, it had the, all the light is not being cancelled, uh, whereas the rest, uh, only uh, one third of light remaining, one fifth of light remaining, and one seventh of light remaining. Yeah? The intensity of the central max maximum is the whole light not being cancelled at all. That's why it has the highest intensity yeah, compared to the others. And now we need to find the width of central maximum. The, the width, uh, that means how, how, uh, how wide is it. Yeah? The width means uh, from here, from here measure to here. So this is the width. Uh, okay, W. Uh, put as W. So the width of central maximum, we need to, how to find the width of central maximum? We need to make use of the neighbor beside. The neighbor beside the central maximum is the first minimum. Uh, first minimum. This first minimum is also considered the first dark fringe. Uh, what is the order for this first dark fringe? Uh, what is the order for this first dark fringe? Uh, as you can see, yeah, if you still remember about the uh, order for the dark fringe, single slit, uh, dark fringe. The, it follow the order uh, because it has no zero order uh, the dark fringe the first minimum first minimum which is the first dark fringe the order is also one uh, the order is not zero order is one because we know that the single slit uh, it doesn't have zero order it, uh, the, the, the single slit the order start from one uh, start from one so the, since the order start from one since the order start from one so the first order dark fringe is already the first dark fringe uh, because there's no zero order. There's no zero order. So it starts from the first order. So the first order is the first dark fringe. Okay? Or the first minimum. Uh, yeah? The single slit, uh, the, the, the number of dark fringe follow the order. Uh, uh, not, like, not like the double slit. The double slit, you have to plus one. Yeah? Double slit, you have to plus one because double slit has zero order. Double slit has zero order, but single slit has uh, no zero order, so no need to plus one. Yeah, it uh, just follow the order. The first order dark fringe is the first dark fringe. Okay, uh, so uh, so um, we need to make use of the first dark fringe. Uh, first dark fringe was the order again. The order is equal to one. The order is equal to one. Uh, the first order dark fringe. So, uh, we also we need to make use of uh, both sides, yeah, because we want to find the width of the whole central maximum. So, we need to make use of the both sides of the first dark fringe. Uh, the first dark fringe at the top and the first dark fringe at the bottom. Uh, this also, the, the first minimum here also first dark fringe. Uh, the order also equal to 1. Uh, okay? Why we, we make use of this first minimum or first dark fringe just beside the central maximum to find the width of central maximum? Because this first dark fringe forms the wall. Uh, it forms the wall for this central maximum. Nah? Because, because we know that after, after this central maximum, yeah, we are like this one, the blue color one, this, after this central maximum, uh, beside, beside the central maximum is already the first uh, first dark fringe uh, or the first dark fringe uh, like that uh, understand uh, just beside the central maximum is already the first dark fringe so the position y the position y1 uh, for the first dark fringe uh, is actually half of the half of the central maximum uh, so if we take both sides first dark fringe here and the first dark fringe here we can find the width of the hole the width of the whole central maximum. Uh, so by making use the uh, position uh, of the first dark fringe from the central maximum, both side uh, uh, plus together. Uh, that, uh, that means we plus together. That means we uh, y one y one at the top plus y one at the bottom. Uh, yeah. 
uh, top and bottom plus together we get 2y1 uh, so the width of central maximum is 2y1 uh, use the neighbor first dark fringe because the first dark fringe form the wall for this central maximum okay so 2y1 uh, so y1 use what formula again what's the formula for dark fringe single slit yeah uh, this is the single slit uh, dark fringe what formula for we use for dark fringe single slit remember single slit is like anti-phase although it's not anti-phase but the formula seems like anti-phase uh, single slit uh, formula for dark fringe is n lambda d over a uh, n lambda d over a okay uh, so uh, that's the formula uh, the y formula is n lambda d over a that's a dark fringe formula and uh, the first dark fringe is the first order first order so we just put n equal to 1 uh, so uh, so this 2y1 here uh, 2y1 here you will get yeah this one you will get yeah uh, 2y1 uh, you, y1 you substitute with 1 lambda d over a so we will get uh, 2 times 2 times this one you will get this one lah 2 uh, y uh, sorry 2 lambda d over a that's it uh, the width of central maximum is 2 lambda d over a uh, to get this one uh, lambda is the wavelength of the light d is the uh, distance of the cent uh, screen from the single slit and a is the size of the slit size of the single slit okay uh, so we can say um, uh, what happened if uh, you use a longer light yeah longer wavelength okay uh, you use if longer wavelength yeah you use a longer uh, longer wavelength like a red one we know that it's longer than the blue okay uh, then you will get a bigger width uh, that means you can see wider if you use straight light you can see the central maximum wider uh, wider uh, or you put it uh, this longer distance uh, you put this one longer distance that means the d this one increases uh, you put this one d increases this one also become wider uh, yeah become wider from here maybe go to here uh, become wider uh, from if you make it uh, longer that means from small become white lah become white yeah the width become wider uh, or you use a smaller slit uh, you use a even smaller slit like this one okay you use a even smaller slit yeah you use a smaller slit this one uh, you can see also wider yeah from small become white yeah smaller slit smaller slit more diffraction that's why i say that's why i say uh, uh that's why i say uh yeah uh, smaller uh, smaller slit that means uh, a is smaller yeah uh, I remember I talk, I told you about this one the smaller slit when the size of the slit is almost equal to wavelength or maybe smaller than wavelength uh, you have more diffraction you have more diffraction uh, this is the one lah. yeah more diffraction uh, smaller slit more diffraction uh, the width of central maximum become bigger uh, this is the formula lah y equal to 2 lambda d over a uh, yeah the width the width of central maximum is inversely proportional to a uh, inversely proportional to a yeah so uh, something like this one lah yeah uh, see this one uh, see this one uh, more more diffraction lah most diffraction if the a is very very if the a is very very small if the a is very very small uh, more diffraction more diffraction uh, like the the width of central maximum increases okay see that see the width the, the diffraction becomes more isn't it uh. okay so uh that's the that's the thing okay now uh let's see let's see um the following slide okay let's see the following slide now, uh, I want to make a comparison, last comparison between uh, single slit and double slit. Okay, this is the double slit. Uh, look at here. This is the double slit and this is the single slit. 
All right. So what's the similarity? The similarity for double slit and single slit is both patterns has dark, bright and dark fringe. A bright fringe. Uh, both of them have a uh, bright fringe and dark fringe. Uh, we yeah, we have. Yeah, that's why we have formula for both. You see, uh, for double slit we have a uh, formula for bright and also formula for dark. Single slit also have formula for bright and for dark. Uh, yeah. So this is the dark, the single slit. We have bright and dark, and for double slit also we have bright and dark fringe. Uh, it's just the pattern is a bit different. Okay, so look at this one. Um, so both has uh, bright and dark fringe. The center of both patterns is bright fringe. Uh, for the center position, yeah, indeed, the center both are bright fringe. Okay. Uh, so you see, central is bright for single slit, uh, double slit. The central also bright. The central also bright. Uh, but what's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah, both has a central bright fringe. Uh, but what's the difference? The difference is double slit. The width of is the same. Width for each fringe is the same. But for the for the uh, single slit, single slit, the central fringe is wider compared to others. Uh, okay, uh, because why like that? Because I told you, uh, for the uh, single slit, the central fringe is wider. Uh, see, see this one. Uh, see, central fringe for single slit is wider compared to the rest because. This one, uh, based this single slit, the, the bright fringe here is not formed because of constructive interference. It's formed because of destructive interference, the bright fringe. Because um, the light is being cancelled. For single slit, uh, we use the concept of light being cancelled. Left with one third, one fifth, one seventh of light. Okay, uh, That's why uh, the rest uh, fringes, the light remaining is less than compared to the central maximum. When there's no light being cancelled, all light is focused on the central, all light constructive interference at the central maximum. The rest has destructive interference. Uh, uh, yeah, all lights. Uh, single slit has the wider central, central bright. Yeah, the width is the biggest. The width is the biggest. Uh, yeah, for double slit, for double slit, the width is the same. You see that? Uh, the width is the same. Uh, the width is the same for all. Yeah. So that's the difference. Okay. So for double slit, the width is the same. For single slit, the width of the central fringe is wider. And then uh, the secondly is the intensity. Intensity of the double slit reduce slowly uh, as distance increase from the central bright. That means. Uh, but for the single slit, the intensity reduce rapidly, reduce very fast. Uh, yeah? Again, it's all because of light being cancelled. Uh, yeah? uh, this one reduce slowly because we know that the longer the distance away from the, from the source, uh, the lower the intensity. But it still reduce slowly because, because no light cancel. Yeah? Here, this one because no light cancel. Uh, this one. Reduce rapidly because got light cancel. So it left with uh, one third, one fifth, uh, one seventh of light remaining. Uh, yeah. One, um, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one reduce rapidly because, uh, um, yeah. So let me, uh, okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, this one reduce rapidly because, uh, Got light being cancelled. Uh, so uh, this one intensity reduced slowly. This one intensity reduced rapidly. L let's look at uh, hit this one again. Yeah, see the intensity reduced for single slit. Intensity reduced rapidly because got light being cancelled. Uh, but for uh, double slit, it's still decreasing. The intensity is decreasing, but the intensity is almost uniform. It's almost uniform because no light being cancelled. Okay, so that's all for single slit uh, and comparison with double slit. Okay, so hope you understand. Okay, single slit, 
special is about the central maximum, central bright fringe, and also in intensity reduced rapidly compared to the double slit. Okay, so uh, now let's move on to the next one about the diffraction grating.